Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in Pritchard's open sleigh. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Christmas. Welcome to Pritchard's proper vegan Christmas. We are back, and this time we're back with the potatoes. Which was silly Today, let's get serious. We're in the kitchen. It's potato time, and it's one of the main vegetables on your plate at Christmas time. I'm going to be making turned potatoes and roast potatoes. Now, turned potatoes, when I was in college, this turning knife, I've had this turning knife since I was in college, and I've looked after it ever since. So basically, what it consists of, as you can see, I've done a few already. I put them in water so they don't go brown. It's basically a barrel-shaped potato. It should have seven sides. If you've got a lot of people coming for Christmas dinner, there's a lot of wastage but only if you want it to waste. You can use this for mashed potato if you want to, so you don't have to chuck it away. So you just get the turning knife, turn the potato there. Now, I can get two turned potatoes out of these, the size potatoes that I've got. Just turn. And people are gonna ask, why do you turn potatoes? What is the advantages of turning potatoes? The answer is, f all. It's just that they just look posh, and they look nice, they look well presentable, and let's face it, you, you, you eat with your eyes. Do decide to turn the potatoes, make sure you put them into um, cold water or they will go brown. I'll tip the water out here. We're gonna part boil them for about three to four minutes, and then we're gonna take them up and refresh them in cold water. So this mashed potato, we'll make mashed as well. We're gonna keep the, we're gonna keep the skin on, there's a lot of goodness in the skin. I never understood people who actually peel. Well, if, you pe if you're gonna make roast potatoes, I peel the potatoes, but if I'm making mash, I keep the skin on. Stick this in the pan. It shouldn't take long to mash all that up, to be honest. Right, I've just added water to the, these leftover potatoes. Just cover the potatoes and, and get it on the boil. We've got the, we've got the churn potatoes part boiling and we've got the uh, leftovers of potato boiling as well. Whilst they're cooking. Hi la 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 Next up, everybody in every single house across the UK are going to have roast potatoes. You can't have Christmas dinner without a roast potato. I absolutely love roasties. And before I was vegan, I used to use goose fat. But now I'm a vegan, I'm using coconut oil and it does taste so much better. I don't know why, it's just got that, I don't think it's just the taste of the potato and the potato soaks up all that coconut oil. It's absolutely amazing. Now I use Maris Piper potatoes, which are, for me, the best potatoes for roasting. Nice little size on them, peel them, and then chop. Let's, let's, let's go for quarters. So chop the, depending on the size of the potato, you don't want the, 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 you don't want them to be too small, because when you part boil them, they could all fall, fall apart in the pan. Now I need to put these into some boiling water and pre-boil them for about five minutes, just so they're soft, because when you, Get the potatoes out of the water. They should be sort of floury on the edges. So if they're floury on the edges, it's gonna pick up and soak up all that fat. Stick your oven on, preheat the oven, 200 Celsius. Because when you put the roast potatoes in, what I normally do is I have it up quite hot. I'd say about 225, 250, and then sort of seals them a little bit. And then I turn it down after about 15 minutes, and then I'll just let them cook slowly then. Right, so while they're boiling away, we've got, don't forget, we've got the leftovers. So let's mash, let's give these a mash. With these, the leftovers from the, uh, the turned potatoes, I put them on the boil 10 minutes. They're really, they're really, they're really thin. It doesn't take long at all. Season them, salt, pepper, a bit of, a bit of vegan butter. Mash it all up. So rather than chuck away that waste from the turned potatoes, I turned it into mash. Right, our mash is ready to go. All we're doing now is waiting on the roasties and the turned potatoes. Right, the parboiled roasties are ready to be drained and ready to go into the oven. Right, as you can see, where they've been cooked on the edges, now that kind of stuff is going to soak up all that coconut oil. That's going to be absolutely banging. My roasted tray has been in the oven with coconut oil getting hot. So as soon as I tip the potatoes onto the coconut oil, they'll start to seal straight away. 
As you can see, I'm using disposable roasting trays because who wants to do the washing up on Christmas Day? But I'll do. Ah, it is hot, it's hot. Now we need to, um, we need to get all these potatoes soaked in the oil and get them all covered. Oh yes, these are gonna be absolutely amazing. And let's not forget, season. Salt on top of those potatoes is delicious. So plenty of Himalayan salt. And of course, black pepper. Now we're gonna stick this into the oven, 225 Celsius. Super hot, and then after about 15 minutes, we'll turn that down, we'll cook them for 45 minutes. That's the roast potatoes in, the mashed potatoes done already. And now we're going to the turned potatoes that I turned earlier. They'd be sitting in cold water. What we're gonna do with these, we're gonna shove them onto the we're going to shove them onto the frying pan on the stove and we're going to add some olive oil I'm going to heat that up what we're going to do what we're going to do with these turned potatoes we're going to wait for that oil to heat up and we're going to saute them off in some rosemary fresh rosemary and some garlic these are going to taste absolutely banging when i shove you potatoes in all this is i'm going to right perfect see right let's go Woo! Yeah, we are cooking! Whop, whop, whop! Season these potatoes, plenty of salt, plenty of pepper, and we're gonna get proper TV chef look. Oh, we're gonna get some uh, garlic. Oh, the smell! <laughs> and we're gonna get some uh, fresh rosemary. Hello, rosemary, how are you today? Oh, I'm fine, thank you. I got a lovely skirt for Christmas. I'm going to wear it down the post office later. Good for you, Rosemary. Oh, thanks, Dave. Enjoy your potatoes. Right, get them off. Shut them in there. Yeah, I know. The roasting tray is absolutely massive. Couldn't find any smaller ones. I'm going to put these in the oven with the roast potatoes. These are going to go on the bottom shelf and cook for about half an hour. And in the meantime, I'm going to sit down and drink some non-alcoholic beer. Well, didn't that 45 minutes go fast? Cool, God, went like a poof. Anyway, the potatoes are ready. Our mash is done, our turned potatoes are done, and our roasties are done. Be careful with these roasting trays because they're quite floppy. And the last thing you want to do on Christmas Day is tip a load of uh, hot coconut oil on your, on your toes. Your mother won't be happy. Look at their potatoes. We all love the good spud. And them turned potatoes, oh, lovely. Serve them up, ready to put on the table. So that's the turned potatoes and the garlic and rosemary. Look at these roasties. Woo -hoo. Ah! Just joking. <laughs> Look at them. Crispy on the outside, nice and soft on the inside. Ladies and gentlemen, that is Pritchard's proper vegan potatoes, which are going to go absolutely amazing with my uh, mushroom and sweet potato wellington. We've got the mash, we've got the turned potatoes in the rosemary and the garlic, and we've got the roast potatoes in the coconut oil. Absolutely banging. Munch them up, your family be happy.